Hello Mulis, in this video I am going to show you how to use this upset functionality in Postgres database. So I saw like there was a requirement from one of my uh, connections asking that you know how can we do this upset operation in Postgres because in database uh, connectors you can see we do have only insert select and the other operations here but you won't find any kind of upset operation so it did, again uh, this is specific to postgres database and um, yeah uh, it can be done for various databases as well like oracle and all but it is more specific to the statement the sql syntax that we are using so postgres uh, provides us with an upset functionality but make sure that your postgres database is like 9.5 and above version it is uh, so whatever syntax we are going to use you know basically we are going to use this conflict statement so the conflict is a key keyword that we are going to use uh, for having this upset functionality so upset is nothing but uh, if you are trying to insert a row which is already present with the same primary key it will try to update if the row if the id is not present it will try it will insert the new record so it's basically upset so we do see this functionality in salesforce and all but in database especially for postgres how to do it we'll be seeing so most of them again they they say like you know we are not able to do it because you you find all these uh, requirements in real time projects and you want it, it you find it hard to do some proof of concept right because you will be having your organization database and all but uh, there are many online free services for example this is what i found when i googled so elephant sql is a postgres as a service which provides a free instance for uh, postgres uh, so i just created a free instance and i tried to create a table out of it so i am using pg admin tool to create table and all this stuff i can share this you know uh, scripts with you but yeah whenever you want to try something uh, please make sure that you know you have uh, many online free uh, uh, tools that you can use uh, to do your proof of concept so coming back to our this thing so i have my host password and uh, username all this stuff so first let me show you how to connect to postgres database all right so i am using if you go to the insert query insert uh, connector and edit the configuration so basically i am using so i have used if you see configure and add maven dependency so i have used like org dot postgres ql dot com and uh, org dot postgres okay so this is what and i have used like one point i can show you where to find it so you can just find the dependency like postgres dependency so if you go to this indian repository and whatever version you want i think i used for 42.1.0 if i scroll down or you can use anyone so 42.1.0 is what i used and you can just copy paste this particular dependency over uh here and install it i have it already installed you can see that is why it is saying a dependency with the same group and artifact already exists so i am using the same one okay and this url this is where i got stuck okay for a long time but uh, all that you need to do is so jdbc postgres sql followed by double slash and this is my host name till here okay and sometimes you won't find your port okay so 5432 is the default port that we use commonly for postgres database and then this is the database name so my database name if i go back to elephant sql so this is my default database i am using this then driver class name is org.postgres.driver and username and password so username and password are here so username is same for me because it is a free version they are using the same database name and username and password like this so that's it uh we are good to you know if i if i test the connection it will say test connection successful so in this way you can use some free online services to do some proof of concept so test connection is successful now coming back to our query it's very simple before going into query i wanted to run the select statement here so you can see here we do have multiple rows you can see here one two like you know some rows i have added few other rows six seven thirty seven so first what i would like to do is i would like to add a row 
which has which is a new which has a new employee id which is not present in the database that means it should try to insert a new row now so now coming back to the query if you look at this query i will share this query in my description so insert this is a normal insert statement that we usually do and then this is the one which you need to uh, concentrate on conflict of what you are looking for on what basis you wanted to see check whether the row is already existing or not usually we do this for primary case so now i wanted to check on employee id if the employee id is conflicting what i am trying to tell is do update if the employee id is already present which which you are trying for example now i am passing employee id as 40 which is not present so it will not go to the conflict so it will try to insert a new row which means only this part of statement will be executed so and if at all it is present if if at all i am passing an existing id like for example employee id 20 then we are asking them to update and set the name and whatever you want if you want to set more than one field you can one column you can keep adding like email etc so this is how it works so very simple statement upset i'll try the my application is up and running i'll try to run this if i send this request is giving error it says like full name does not exist in the table employees but it can be referenced from this part let me check okay see this is the mistake which i have done i forgot to give colon here because if you are if you are giving colon if you are not giving colon and passing values it is like considering as not a string so because i am running I'm passing the parameters here so I have to give colon followed by the name and that same name should be passed here okay so let it get restarted quickly so it has restarted so let me send the request again It is taking some time because my database server is located somewhere else so you can see now i got 200 response here so when i go here okay and do the select query again So it should add so you can see here it has added uh, the new row so now what I wanted to try to do is I want to select I will select one of the existing employee ID 20 and I will try to insert that okay so basically it should update the existing uh, employee ID but not insert the new row so I'll just use 20 and give the same like you know newly name I'll just save it so basically it should not add 20 again the new row it should update the existing row and make sure that if you are updating if uh, i'll show you one more thing here i am updating only the name and email id okay so let me go to console it started again and send the request Let's wait for it. Once you see the logs, it will be updated. It is taking more time because this is, as I said, like, yeah. So here I got the logger and I got a success response. Now I will go and run the query again. So if you go down here, you can see 20 is gone from here and you can see the 20 employee ID is updated with name and ID. But rest of the 
rest of the columns the values remain same it is unchanged so most of you have a doubt like whether the values if you are not passing they will be set to null no it will update only the uh, values which you have set so this is the easiest way to how to upset uh, you know um, the rows basically if it is existing it will update if not it will try to insert the a new row and most of them what they do is if, if, without knowing this functionality what they do is they will have a select statement first then they run the query like select star from where employee id equal to 2 if they do, if the result is empty they will try to insert or if there is anything row they will do update statement they will keep a choice router and they will do this functionality but it is not required in this case so this is again specific to postgres but i think even other databases uh, provide such functionality using just a uh, one syntax okay so here we are using insert uh, connector here so we are not we are not using any kind of execute ddl or execute script it's just enough if you use insert connector okay so again i wanted to reiterate uh, we, i use elephant sql to test you know to do some poc to create an instance and a database and yeah this is all it all for today Thank you.